hi you're welcome to q stitches channel yeah this is strictly for fashion designing both for um, kids and for female yeah my name is ijoma mabel your tutor and i hope to god that our previous videos has in one way or the other helped your ability to sew yeah so today we're going to be doing a purple on top more like a purple on jacket you'll be wondering what's with me and purple on i just love it so it's going to be coming with a princess coat and please don't forget to subscribe on our youtube channel like our videos and click on the bell button so that whenever there is a new a new video you'll be the one first one to receive your notification and also don't forget to follow us on instagram facebook and twitter as with essential stitches we love you so much let's go to the cutting table right now so we'll begin at 10. Mm -hmm. So we are here at um, our cutting table. These are the fabrics that we're going to be using. We're using an Ankara print and a plain material. It's going to be like um, a mixed jacket. You see it on the cross of it. And this is maybe blue for this, and this is orange for that. And these are the rulers. We have different rulers here, depending on how you want to. This is for the ample, and these other ones, you know, in the course of um, cutting, we are going to need them. We have a scissor, we have a marker, we have a chalk, then we have different pins here. Then we have our measurements. Now, this measurement is divided into two different sections. I have my reasons. So this is the main measurement where we have the shoulder as 14 plus two and a half gives us 16 and a half, which I will explain to you later. In the course of cutting, they will have our bust as 38 and um, shoulder to bust 14 inches, uh, top to top waist as 32. Then the top length itself is 23 inches. Then other measurements, that is shoulder to bust is 10 inches. You understand as we go, you add half inches for seam allowance. And then we have uh, armhole as nine inches. That's where your armpit is. We have the neckline as three inches width and two inches depth then we have um, the half length which is a uh, 16 inches plus 12 that's where the um, the peplum is going to start that's um, 16 inches plus 12 that's um, two inches because we're going to be having seam allowance both up for the hand the shoulder side and then seam allowance to join the peplum so there's also um, i forgot there is a uh, one inch for um, shoulder slant so we're going to add shoulder the, sh the shoulder slant, sorry, don't mind me. You understand as we go, one inch for shoulder slant, so so that it will have your sh the shoulder will have um, a balance when we are true. And for the fabric, we need the uh, three yards. That's what I'm using. It's my size, three yards fabric. So this is three yards. This is a yard. Yeah. So um, most times, some people when they want to cut the peplum, they use um, paper steel to or interface. To make it look a bit, a little bit hard, but I don't want that on this. I want the peplum to just be just the fabric and the lining. So as we move along, we are going to understand better. So let's clear the table as we spread our fabric. Mm -hmm. Keep this one side very handy. Something a bit heavy to hold the fabric down. Okay, so let's keep it aside. That is going to be helpful. Because for Measure out the width. Normally, since I'm using my size and my bust is um, 38, if I'm, to, if I'm to do a direct measurement without the princess cut and all of that, I will just use 13 for the width. But in this case, since we are doing like a princess cut, um, some some parts of the fabric might be more like waist, so I'm going to use um, 16. Measure out 16 for the width. Yep. Exactly 16. Okay, so I have 16 here. As the width. Okay. And like I said before, I said the on the measurement we said that the half length is 18. So I will measure up 19 because of the one inch um, slant at the shoulder. So this is going to be okay. Measuring out 18, we oh, can always cut it out from the shoulder. So this is 18 and a trace. Then, always make sure you trace so that you have the. Uh, you can make sure that your material is the fabric is folded equally. If not, it comes comes out. Then, so where's my ruler? Then mark. Okay. So don't forget we are working inside this box. We don't have any business here anymore for now. Walking inside the first. 
So I'm going to measure out the arm kit. We said the arm. Uh, so I'm going to cut out the shoulder. The shoulder is 16. So 16 divided by 2 is 8 inches. I'm going to be using 8 and a half inches and we sling all of that as we go forward. So this is 8 and a half. Sorry, this is 8 and a half inches here. Here is 8 and a half. And then we then the arm from the shoulder to the ample is nine nine and nine. So I'm going to roll. This is the ample. When we are through, we are coming back to this because we are still going to cover it. Now that we have that part of the way, let's get the neckline. The neckline. So the neckline, the width is 3 inches and 2 and a half from here. 3 inches and 2 and a half depth. 3 inches width, 2 and a half depth, then you connect. So now we have, we have the neckline. So okay. that's what Show that to go to 11 inches. And then you rule. You will understand why we're doing all of this as in the cost. Okay, go forward. You rule 11 inches. And then we said that show that to under box is 14 inches. Under the box, 14 inches. Then again, we rule. Would have different things that they would do for us. This here is should that was should be set. So now what we're going to do now is to cut out um, is to trace out um, bust to bust. And I call it you know, to the it bust to bust, depends on what you want. So when we our measurement here is that um, our bust bust is eight inches plus one, that's um, nine inches. So we're going to divide the nine inches into two. Which will give us four and a half inches. To give us four and a half inches. So four and a half inches. We're still on the um, shoulder to to the bust. So that's where we are on the on that same line. So four and a half inch. You mark. This is four and a half here. For um, nipple to nipple. That's bust to bust. As some of you, as some of us like to call it. Then we will bust bust and then okay after doing this you just between here you just take uh, one inch above it and mark and one inch below it and mark then at the sh um, shoulder side between the shoulder and the neckline we have um, five and a half inch space we divide it into two which will give you which will give you two, which will give you more than two and a half inch. So what you do is you click, you mark it there. See that? So after marking the at the middle, then you take one inch from both side, one inch from here too. That. Well, this is the center between that's the center between the neckline and the shoulder and then you take one inch from both sides apart so you can be able to connect it to um, the what you need to do now is to connect this to the center point see that connect it to the center point even while this is still both open, you see what they're going to do. Then at this place where we have um, the sh um, shoulder to underbox, to, um, what you're going to do is from this point you measure out one inch. Don't forget this is still four and a half. Measure out one inch apart from both sides and both side and this other side too. Then the waist, you take out half inch. You just first of all mark out the Four and a half like this becomes the middle. But then you will so that you understand better. That's the middle point. That's the middle point. And then half also half an inch from here. And then we connect them. Hmm? Half inch. Don't forget we have already connected this one to the shoulder. 
So we have already connected this to the shoulder. It's not time. Remember the second point that we made here. We're going to connect it down to the side. Connect. Let me use the other chalk. Connect. See, see that? Connected it down. Now we have our, our princess coat. She. Okay, so this is going to be yeah, one and a quarter inch, not one inch, one and a quarter inch, which is here, one and a quarter inch, one and a quarter inch, this here, and this is going to be one inch, not a uh, half inch. Sorry, I'm really sorry. As an artist, sometimes you have to clean, and so you connect it this way. Down this way. So when we're cutting, this is what we're cutting. And we double it with the white chalk so that we won't be confused. This is what we're cutting out. What we are cutting. So don't forget, this is one and um, quarter inch, and this is one inch connected this way. And we already have um, this way, this one connected to this the middle point between the shoulder and the neck, the neckline. So now, while, as we are done with um, the bust to bust, we are going to do a full measurement of what the top should look like before we start cutting out. So remember we said that our bust is um, 32, so 32 divided by, sorry, our bust is 38. 38 divided by 2, that will be 19. So, and the fabric is already folded into, into 2, so we are going to be dividing 32, uh, 38 by 4. And that will be nine and a half. We are going to be adding two inch seam allowance, so that means we are using um, eleven and a half for the bust. Don't forget this is where the bust is. So this is this is eleven and a half. But for me to be at the same side, I'm using twelve. So here is twelve. Now this is under bust, which I see like almost the waist, and I said before that is 32. So this under bust and this is going to be used as the waist. So 32 divided by four, we have 32 divided by four. We have eight inches, so we're going to be adding extra two inches to it. So that means we have 10 inches. So we are the same side. I'm using 11. I'm using 11 for it. So that's it. Um, she sit down 11 and 11. So you trace. You can't use this, you use the ruler. That's why it's here. That's what it's here for. Use the ruler to trace it down so you don't make mistakes. Now don't forget that this is our shoulder. So if you if you if you if you don't have this ruler to make the shoulder happen, all you need to do is if you if you don't have this ruler, just take out one inch from here, one inch, which is actually the same thing, and then follow it like that and pull. See, if you don't have this, but since I have this, all I need to do now is to make sure that it's here like that, and then I pull. So by the time I cut, get all of the shape that is needed. So let's run through it one more time. This is the shoulder, and from here to the shoulder is eight and a half inch. The reason why we use eight and a half inch is that by the time we join all of these pieces together, we'll be able to get the shoulder the way it should be, not tiny. So that the shoulder will come out tiny. This is the neckline, um, three inches width and two and a half inches um, deep depth, so that for the seam allowance. So let's call. I'm going to start first of all putting on the neck. That's the neckline. And don't forget that uh, then from here. You cut out the shoulder all the way down. And then we 
touch from here. So the next thing we're going to do now is to separate this from this. Okay, so notice that um, the three points that we have here, we're going to mark lines to, to connect the three of them. We've connected the center point already. So where's our ruler? We're still going to connect this one to that same point. And then do same thing with this. Connect them all to this same point before we cut. Okay, so we are going to mark out uh, one inch for the for the shoulder slant. So this is one inch for the shoulder. Usually, I like to use half. But some people like to use one. So that's the. So now we're going to cut out our uh, um, bust to bust. We're going to cut from here. Follow it carefully. I like to cut with the neck when I cut. See that? Mm -hmm. So by the time you join like that, it will form the shape that we need. But since we are using two fabric, we're going to be using this at the front. But before we do that, we're going to cut out. We're going to split this into two in curve so we can be able to get the jacket front that we need. Okay, so fold that into two. I take one inch here from the neckline, and then I take one and a half inch because I want it to be a bit curvy. Yeah, I want to have a cup shape. Take one and a half. One and a half. Then back here, one inch. One inch. And try to cup it. Yeah. You can also choose to do it this way, but with the tip, you just curve it. It will also form another shape. Yeah, so you cut it out. And 
there you go. So this is going to be more like a waist. This is what the front is. It's going to be like this. Uh -huh. So because I'm not using this part, I'm going to be placing this space is going to be this fabric. So I'm going to be placing this on this to cut this out. So that's why we added SS so that in the course of um, sewing, you will still have the proper shoulder. If you're sure you can't follow a straight line, you pin. So, so I'll cut the back and let us to, to pin and see what it looks like. Don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel, like our videos, and click on the bell button so that whenever there is a new, a new video, you'll be the one first one to receive your notification. And also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter as Peter Essential Stitches. We love you so much.